Cash and Voucher Assistance, or CVA, is designed to provide households with immediate relief from events such as economic and climate shocks, pests and diseases, and conflict, and to strengthen their resilience and livelihoods in the longer term. This evaluation is the first comprehensive assessment of FAO's use of CVA and offers lessons to improve programming. Focusing on FAO activities between 2018 and 2022, the evaluation examines the relevance, partnerships and coordination arrangements, effectiveness and efficiency, gender equality and inclusion, and enabling environment for delivering CVE. The evaluation used a range of methodologies, including a review of internal and external documents, analysis of FAO CVA projects, analysis of evaluations, interviews with key stakeholders, an online survey of FAO's country offices, country case studies, and case studies of comparable organizations. The evaluation found that CVA is a highly relevant and flexible tool to achieve FAO's strategic objectives. FAO's strength lies in utilizing CVA where it intersects with livelihoods in agriculture, livestock, forestry, and fisheries. While the use of CVA is growing, the role of the different modalities in supporting the objectives and the geographic and thematic coverage remains limited. There is widespread engagement of FAO's country teams in cash working groups. FAO's involvement in global cash coordination frameworks presents a significant avenue to shape global discussions on CVA. At the same time, current partnership efforts for strategies or programming are limited and tend to focus on program design. Evidence supports the effectiveness of unconditional cash transfers and cash for work to support food and other basic needs. FAO has also used cash for work to develop community assets. Vouchers and seed fairs support improved agricultural practices and market development. FAO is increasingly linking CVA with social protection and anticipatory action. The effectiveness of cash plus approaches has been mixed. Critical factors in CVA effectiveness include the duration, size, timeliness and frequency of transfers, the availability of predictable and flexible financing, efficient contracting processes, and effective targeting both for program design and implementation. FAO seeks for CVA to enhance the role of women and marginalized groups within agri-food systems. Attention to data protection and to data sharing risks is growing. Further evidence is needed to consider and address inclusion issues. Risks in project or program design are systematically and robustly considered by FAO, but CVA-specific protection risks are not assessed as consistently. The timeliness and efficiency of CVA delivery has improved through digitalization and technical assistance from FAO headquarters. To further support and scale up CVA requires a clear organizational vision. Knowledge and capacity gaps in country offices must be addressed through training, strategic partnerships, guidance and tools. And investment in evidence generation is needed to support learning. Based on its findings, the evaluation made four recommendations to FAO. FAO needs corporate leadership for CVA to be impactful and delivered efficiently and in compliance with existing FAO policies. This should include developing cross-functional mechanisms to formulate a corporate CVA vision and strategy, elaborating the use of CVA across the human development and peace nexus, and developing results indicators and reporting approaches to monitor effective delivery. In order to meet critical demand for capacity building, FAO needs to strategically prioritize the use of scarce resources for capacity building and technical support. This should include prioritizing capacity building resources and scale-up initiatives, accelerating the rollout of the IDEA MIS tool, reviewing data protection and privacy guidelines, and simplifying manual sections 702 and 704 to maximize utility and efficiency. The evidence base of CVA has critical gaps that must be filled to support strategic and implementation decisions. FAO should 
develop an agenda to facilitate learning, pilot new approaches to delivering CVA, and collect evidence on CVA. Effective partnerships are an essential prerequisite for scaling the use of CVA, sharing knowledge, and leveraging technical capacities. FAO should build operational partnerships at country level, accelerate data sharing agreements, and assess risks collectively. Thank you.